Chinese censors have stepped up efforts to scrub that country's media of revelations about politicians and powerful people hiding their wealth in tax havens. Bruce Harrison is live in the studio with me for more. Uh, Bruce, how far flung is the government's efforts to, to hide certain Chinese ties to the so-called Panama Papers scandal? Kanyang, this seems to actually be a pretty intense effort by the government to hide this story. Uh, the story. Uh, the leak revealed that family members of at least eight former or current Chinese ruling party elites have offshore companies. And according to the China Digital Times, Beijing ordered media to delete all reports about the leak and said it'll harshly punish those who don't follow the order. Panamanian law firm Masak Fonseca is at the center of the leak, and the group of journalists behind the story say the firm's busiest office is in Hong Kong. Well, Hong Kong is in China, so it's very easy for a chi wealthy Chinese or for a politician to come to Hong Kong and set up everything. And of course, Hong Kong has a well-established banking system. Analysts say to their belief most offshore activity is legal. It's unclear whether China will investigate the alleged ties. Iceland's prime minister, meanwhile, was the first major politician to resign over ties to an offshore company, but he now says he never formally resigned and only stepped aside for an unspecified period.